Hello and welcome to Hacks, where I've got some more tips and tricks for you. Today I'm going to be talking about virtual machine shared folders, what they are, and why they're useful, and how to set them up. So if you are getting into cybersecurity, hacking, or penetration testing, chances are you're using a virtual machine with all your tools on it rather than doing it on your base. I mean, you could be doing it on your base, but again, there's many advantages to using a virtual machine, which I've talked about in my environment setup video. Now, one of the good features of uh, the virtual machine is shared folders. You can create a folder on your base OS. So if you're using Windows, just create a new folder or you can choose an existing folder and then you can mount that into your virtual machine provided you've got the guest editions installed properly and you can access the files that are on your base for your virtual machine or you can save files from your virtual machine to your base and this becomes particularly useful if you want to save tool output and be able to get it off of your base or save bigger files or if you've got limited space on your virtual machine and you want to access things like word lists that are stored on your base where you've got more storage. Um, they're really useful and yeah, I, I'm going to show you how to set one up. So, what I'm using is VirtualBox and as you can see there we have our Kali VM powered off. It needs to be powered off in order to make changes to most of the settings. Um, but all we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and then shared folders. Now you can see there, I've already got my OneDrive set up, but if I wanted to create another shared folder, for example, what I would do is I would go into, let's create a new folder called share one. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna click the blue icon with the green plus symbol. And we're gonna go to folder path and we're going to select our OneDrive and our share one, select it. Then we're gonna give it a name. So I'm just gonna call it Joe Share. Now we want to be able to read and write to this share. So we're not gonna select read only. We're gonna select auto mount though. And auto mount is going to make sure that it mounts when your operating system boots. So we're gonna leave the mount point as empty. By default, I believe it, I believe it will mount it to the forward slash media directory and then we're just going to click OK. Click OK and once those settings are made we're going to click start. Now we go to the desktop and then we go to our file explorer and we open the folder and what we should see now under devices is my share and yeah my other shares there as well. But what we can do is we can create a folder here called test and what you should see is that is reflected on our Windows Drive. And again, it's really useful. For instance, there's a really large word list that you can download on GitHub called Seclists. And I believe it's over like five gigabytes. And if you want to sort of save room on your Kali VM for tools, then it's, it could be a good idea to have your word list stored on those drives. Um, not sure, it shouldn't slow things down as far as I'm aware. Um, but then if you're downloading big files or other things or you've created programs and you want to share them to your virtual machine without having to use the bi-directional clipboard because it isn't always that reliable, then a shared folder is probably the good way to go. But you can run into issues with permissions. So some when I first set up my Kali VM, um, and you'll probably run into this issue as well, what happens is, is when you try to access the shared folder, you will get a permissions issue. And that permissions issue exists because your user is not part of the VBox SF group, and that's the shared folders group. Um, because obviously you need permissions to read and write to that directory based on the way that it mounts it. Now, the there isn't really easy way to get around this, and it just involves adding your user to the group. So all we have to do is bring up the terminal and then you type sudo add user and then you do a dollar user which is an environmental variable so it's picking up your user your username from your currently logged in user so in this case it's going to be Kali and then you do vbox sf and hit return and what that does is that adds your user 
to the VBox FS user group, which has permissions to access VBox mounts, and then you should be able to access it. If you can't give it a quick reboot, you shouldn't need to, but give your system a reboot once you've done that and try it again. If that hasn't worked, it could be guest editions, but if you're able to see the folder and files within it, I doubt it would be your guest editions. Um, you'd have to do some further troubleshooting tips. But yeah, very useful tool to add. I know it's not really hacking related, but it does help us with our hacking journey with accessing files and folders. Um, but that's it. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, if you've got any problems, let me know. And kind regards.